Hi everybody, this is Vicki and Chuck. Actually, Chuck will be joining us at the end with one of his uh, songs. And um, I want to share with you today a couple of things Father's shown me and said to me and for all of us. And um, I just want to start with saying thank you so much for being here. You guys are a huge blessing to us. We love you and we pray for you every single day throughout the day. So anyway, on the 20th of this month, which was, uh, it, which is February of 2022, Father gave me a vision and I posted that on a video and you can find it on the channel. It's called, uh, through it all visions from father. And then on the 22nd, <clears throat> excuse me, the reason I'm going to, the reason I'm prefacing it with the vision on the 20th is because on the 22nd, I had gone through a couple of days after he showed me the whole thing about trust, just kind of in conversation in my head with him about all of it. And finally, on the 22nd, I wrote in my journal, Father, it's not enough that I put my trust in you. I gave it to you and saw you put it inside yourself. And now I see you showing me that I must follow it into you. So, um, and let me just say this, because I, uh, if you listen to the first vision from the 20th, then you know I talked about him showing me I was holding in my hands when I literally extended my hands in the air and said, here is my trust, take it. Um, because I'd been going through a really hard time with this sickness and, um, he showed me my trust in the form of an object, a silver object that was very unusual in appearance. But anyway, when I held my hands out and offered it to him, he took it in that moment. I didn't see him take it. A few minutes later, I looked again and I saw he had the object in his hand and he literally put it right into the middle of him. Okay. So I kind of gave you a little bit of it, that vision <laughs> right here. Okay. So on the 22nd, I wrote, father, it's not enough. I put my trust in you. You put it inside yourself, etc." Then <clears throat> as I continued to write a little bit later in the entry, I was giving, given these words, you have to be where your trust is, wherever you put it, that's where you go. And then I saw Messiah standing in front of me, just like I had a couple days earlier when I gave him my trust. And this time he opened his arms and I knew he was inviting me into himself. Now I have scripture references that talk about us being in him and him being in us. And I'm not going to read them for the sake of conserving my energy verbally here. But some of those references are John 10, 37, 38, John 14, 20, and John 15, 4 and 5. And then he told me to go back and read Psalm 91 again. Now today, uh, well, actually it'll be yesterday by the time you, you hear this, if you hear it on the 27th. Uh, in this journal entry that I made this morning, the first thing he had me do was to write the Lord's Prayer. Then later in the afternoon, I was given these words no weapon formed against God's people will prosper. And every good and perfect gift comes down from the father of lights with whom there is no variableness or shadow of turning. Then later in the day, Chuck took me out for a ride to get out of the house for a little while. We stayed in the older part of independence, which is where we live. And the neighborhoods are poor. And just a few blocks away from us, there is a really, really, impoverished uh it's just uh, very poor area we drove around and all i could see was poverty everywhere and father was just showing me look at this he said poverty is not only physical but there's also it's also spiritual poverty and so at one point i heard in my spirit that the city will be destroyed now let me just say for anybody that lives in this area just you know, pray about that. I asked father if that was just my thought because of what was weighing on my mind so heavily regarding the spiritual poverty and not just that, but the, well, all the stuff. 
And so I asked him, but he didn't respond. So anyway, we got home. I received the following message, and it was given in three... Um, how do I say this, Father? I almost want to say... Oh, I'm not sure how to say it, because there's so much controversy about the three and the one and... Um, all that, and I'm not going to enter that controversy. I'm just going to tell you what I heard. <clears throat> Excuse me. The first part that I was given, I was given to understand this was Holy Spirit speaking. <sighs> the nations of the world have turned their backs on God, the Almighty Holy One. They have hungered for poverty of spirit, and they have eaten it. Their destruction is coming. Few eyes are open. Few are alert, awake, and active. Many are content to live in spiritual poverty, concerned only that they have food to eat, shelter, and freedom to live in open rebellion to holy. They lift up and praise depravity. They laugh at the sons and daughters of the Almighty. They scorn, mock, and abuse. They torment torture and silence the voices of their opposition. They believe they have conquered and won the battle. They are deceived. Without true repentance and forgiveness, they will perish and be eternally damned. Their father, the devil, will pay for what he has done. He and all of those of the rebellion will pay for eternity. And then I saw it changed and I understood that this was Jesus, the Messiah, Yeshua, the Word, whatever name you call him, uh, in his in his names in Scripture. He was speaking here, and he said, "Children of the one true Almighty Creator God, rise up! You have not been given a spirit of fear. You have been given power, love, and a sound mind." As you walk with me, your sensitivity to my spirit will increase, and you will know by my spirit what I would have you do. Keep your eyes on me. Do not take these words lightly. Only by keeping your eyes on me will you be able to see as I lead you by my spirit. I'm saying to you, walk in my ways. If you do not know what that means, then read my words in Scripture. I am there throughout the books from Genesis through Revelation. Find out what I said and did while I was on the earth and do that. Fear and torment are running wild now. Even in many of my people there is fear. You must choose who you will believe. Will I be your choice? If so, you must rebuke and refuse the spirit of fear when it comes to you. Who do you believe is more powerful? If you believe the spirit of fear is more powerful, you will live in failure and weakness in the days to come, and it will be easy for the enemy to overcome you. If you believe me, you will live in my peace and strength, even in the midst of the chaos that lies ahead. You cannot have it both ways. Choose one or the other. I have everything available that you need to live in the days ahead. I have everything you need to conquer those things that want to conquer you. The strategies and weapons, the power and deliverance, I have them all. And I have the peace that surpasses understanding, not the world's kind of peace which is fleeting, unstable, and shallow, I have the peace that goes deep into the heart and soul of a man or woman or child. Come follow me. Come. Follow me. You are invited. My life, my blood, my obedience to my Father when I was on the earth, this is what makes the invitation possible. And then it changed, you guys, and I heard Father, and he had me write this. I know your past. I see the things that you wrestle with. I know the things you are trying to overcome. Remember when my people rebuilt the temple, tool in one hand, sword in the other. You only have two hands, one for the work, one for the war. 
You cannot live in the past and what, is done, what it has done to affect your confidence in me. You must fully enter this time and follow my direction. And believe me, I am holy. I will have a holy people. I will rule and reign forever. Live in purity. I cannot and will not tolerate the least degree of sin. I am just and true, repaying each one for their choices to follow my son or not. Be found walking in holiness. Do not scoff. Do not mock. Fill your hearts, minds, and wills with the will of the Father, almighty, holy, and pure. Set a watch over your lips and your heart. Set a watch over your choices. Stop thinking only of yourselves, if that is your weakness. See that there are still many who need the prayers and help of my people. I cannot show you someone else in need if you are so busy looking into the mirror, seeing only yourself. The angelic host around my throne praise me and worship me ceaselessly. I have created beings that are larger than the earth and more fierce and fearsome than anything you can imagine. You cannot begin to comprehend how powerful I am. You cannot fathom my wisdom, my creativity, or my love. I made you from the dust of the earth. You have been blessed to have my breath and my spirit fill the dust that you are. My own son was sent by me to die for you. Consider these things. Consider them well. You are you because I created you to be you. Stop trying to be someone else. Stop trying to please anyone but me. Please me and you will do well. Consider what has been spoken in this message. Yes, bring it to me in prayer and hold it up to the light of my word. My word is truth. In me there is no darkness. There is no variableness or shadow of turning. Learn to listen more closely to my spirit. Follow my son. Obey my words and you one day and one day you will rejoice to see me face to face in my kingdom to come. Remember, you have to be where your trust is. Wherever you put it, that's where you go. And that was the end of the message. And then these are some of the things that he, uh, let's see, how do I say it, Father? Put in my mind to just share with you guys. Some trust in the arm of flesh, some trust in their bank accounts, some trust in their intelligence, some trust in their abilities, some trust in governments, some trust in their looks. Psalm 20 verse 7 says, Some trust in chariots, some trust in horses, but we trust in the name of the Lord our God. Okay, you guys, there you go. That is for your prayerful consideration. I want to thank you once again for being with us and for being faithful to stand with us as we go through this time. I am getting better. I don't know if I said that at the beginning of this when I had to start the video over. But I am getting better, and Father is good and faithful to his word. And and I, I think I want to say a prayer before I play one of Chuck's songs. Yeah, I do want to say a prayer. Father, we thank you so much for everything you've been doing. You are good, and your mercy endures forever. We know that all of the things that each one of us will go through or everything we have gone through or might be going through right now, you can and do use it for the good of those who love you and are called according to your purposes. That's your promise. So thank you, Father, that when we are going through trials, you're there and you are going to get the most out of those things that we endure. Thank you, Father, for giving us the strength we need to be able to endure the things that we face. Thank you for the hope that you set before us every single day. Chuck and I pray over everyone on the prayer map, everyone that's written to us every single day, Father. But now, in just, just for this moment, we want to lift them up to you. 
Thank you, God, for all of the people that you have called to yourself. Thank you for every single person who said yes. Thank you for your patience and your your gentleness with us. And Father, thank you at the same time for your stern warnings and for your uh, your correction when we need it. We realize we have a long way to go. Thank you for your Thank you for your gentleness and your tenderness, Father. We pray for all the ones who are sick or afflicted in any way. We pray for all of those who are at war everywhere in the world that's going on. Father, we ask you have your way in all things, and we continue to pray for your kingdom to come and your will to be done on earth as it is where you reign in heaven. Thank you, Father, for the love of brothers and sisters in Christ. Thank you for your mercy, God. We cry out for your mercy. We bless your name. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, who is and was and is to come, or who was and is and is to come. Thank you, Father. In the name of our Savior, the Messiah, we pray. Amen. Okay, you guys, I'm going to play one of Chuck's songs. Thank you again for being here. I will post the, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I will post the part of this message on the community page, uh, the part where Father was speaking, Holy Spirit was speaking, and Yeshua was speaking. I'll post that. I don't know if I'll post any more. I got to figure that out because there's just a lot of different things. But anyway, you might be looking for that in case you want to download that or share it with anybody. And please do, please do share these messages. When you hear something that the Holy Spirit really touches you and lets you know, hey, that's that's from that's from Father. We better pay attention to that. Please share it. There are so many people who are struggling so much right now, and we're called to be a light. And sometimes part of being that light is sharing the things that Father has shared with us on video. <laughs> so you guys, we love you and we will be back as soon as Father sends us. I know I haven't started morning sessions back up again. I'm still praying about that and I don't think it'll be too long, but <clears throat> excuse me, but uh, anyway, we just want you to know we love you and, and here comes Chuck. <laughs> 